हे गाइज आई नीड योर हेल्प आई एम ट्राइंग टू फाइंड द बेस्ट होस्टिंग फॉर माई वर्ड प्रेस वेबसाइट सो प्लीज शेयर योर रिकमेंडेशन Brian, Hostlater is the best hosting. You will get free SSL and a free domain for a year. No, B2 hosting is the best. Daily backups included. I think you should go for Blue Daddy hosting because free migration and 50 GB storage. Wow, there are so many options out here. But you know what? Let us find a solution to this problem by finding the best hosting provider by ourselves. There are thousands of hosting providers out there and choosing the right hosting for your website can take a lot of time and effort. So to make it easier, we have researched and picked the top 6 hosting providers which have servers in India. And in this video, we will test these hosting providers and show you the best hosting for WordPress with live results. Okay, so let's get started. We took one website and put it on 6 different hosting providers and tested them one by one for speed, uptime, customer support and features. And in this video, Let's test and see how these hosting providers are. Let's start with the first part of this video which is to test the speed of each hosting provider. This is the website which I have hosted on these platforms. And all of these sites are the exact copies of each other. So this means when we test the speed of these sites any difference in speed will be due to the hosting provider we are using. I am going to test these sites using a tool called GTmetrix. So let's go to gtmetrix.com and here we need to enter the site's URL which we are going to test. So first let's check the speed of this website which is hosted on Hostinger. So let's go to the site copy this URL paste it here. Okay now here you need to select from where you need to test your site speed. So depending on where you test your website the speed can vary. Since our hosting providers have servers in India let's select India and click analyze. Now GT Matrix will test the website's performance and as you can see we have got the results. Now if we scroll down here you can see that the site loaded in 2.1 seconds which is quite good actually okay so hostinger has loaded our site in 2.1 seconds in the same way let's check the speed of other hosting providers so next let's test the speed of webspace kit now this is the site which we hosted on webspace kit so let's copy this url paste it here and click analyze And as you can see, Webspace Kit has loaded our site in 1.8 seconds, which is excellent. Next, let's check HostGator. So, like we did before, let's copy this URL, paste it here, and click Analyze. And you can see that HostGator has loaded our site in 5.9 seconds, which is a bit slow. Next, let's check the fourth one on our list, which is A2 Hosting. This is the site which we hosted on A2 Hosting. Now to check the speed of the site, let's copy and paste the site's URL here. Now if we click analyze, you can see that A2 Hosting has loaded our site in 2.7 seconds. It's pretty good. Next, let's check the fifth one which is GoDaddy. Copy and paste the site's URL here. Now if we analyze this site, you can see that GoDaddy has loaded our site in 5.1 seconds which is not that great. Next, let's check the last hosting provider which is Bluehost. This is the site we hosted on Bluehost. Now if we analyze the site, you can see that Bluehost has loaded the same site in 4.7 seconds. Okay, so now we have completed checking the speed of all these hosting providers. As you can see, Webspace Kit Hostinger and Ato Hosting have the fastest load times. While having a fast loading website not only keeps your users engaged but also it helps it rank higher on Google. So if you're looking for the best performance for your website, we recommend going with Webspace Kit, Hostinger and Ato Hosting. So now you know which host has the best loading speed. Next, let's go to part 2 of this video which is to check the uptime of each hosting provider. Uptime is the amount of time your website is live on the internet. Sometimes your site might show something like this. This is because your hosting provider is facing downtime due to server error or maintenance or any other reason. For example, let's take a time of 30 days. Say your site is live for all 30 days, then the uptime will be 100 percentage. But if your site was down for 7 days, then the uptime will be reduced. Having downtime means you're losing potential customers, and that's why a good hosting provider should have a uptime closest to 100 percentage. 
to test the uptime of each hosting provider, we will be using a tool called Status K. So let's go there. Now here, we need to enter these details. First, let's check the uptime of Hostinger. So to test it, let's copy the site's URL and paste it here. And then here you can select how often you want to check if your site is up or not. I want this tool to check my site every 15 minutes. So I'm going to leave it at 15 minutes and click create test. And here you can see that our uptime test is running for the site. In the same way, I have already added all the websites from each hosting provider for testing and let's run the test for 60 days. And now let's check the results. So these are the uptime figures for each hosting provider. And as you can see, all the other hosting providers have 100% uptime except for Hostinger. And Hostinger is also a bit close to 100%, which is great. So now you know which hosting provider gives you the best uptime. Next, let's go to the third part of this video where we see the backup options of these hosting providers. Having regular backups of your website will help you recover from any type of data loss or other issues that might occur. You can easily recover your site using a backup in case you face any problems with plugins, theme updates, or if you delete something important by mistake. Okay, now you know why having a backup of your website is important. Now, let's see what are the backup features provided by each hosting provider. So we'll be checking whether they provide backup or not, is it daily or weekly, and how easy it is to restore from a backup. First, let's check Hostinger's backup features. Now, backup features may vary depending on the plans we choose. On every hosting provider, we have selected the best plan which can host multiple websites. So on Hostinger, we have chosen this plan. Okay, now to check Hostinger's backup features, we need to go to Admins panel. So we are now on the Admin panel of Hostinger and this is the place where the admin can manage their hosting accounts. Now to see Hostinger's backup features, let's click on Manage here. And as you can see, Hostinger provides you daily backup for your website. So just click Manage. And here you can see that Hostinger gives you these options for backup. Let's take the first option. With this, you can restore your website on a preferred date in one click. So if we click here, you can see that Hosting has created a backup of our site automatically every week. So you can select the date of backup and restore your website and your site will be restored successfully. Also, you can easily generate a new backup manually by clicking here. Okay, as you can see, Hostinger provides only weekly backups. So if you're looking for daily backup, we need to upgrade the plan or simply purchase a backup add-on. So if you click here and you can purchase the plan. Okay, so now on Hostinger, you will get automatic weekly backups for free. So these are the backup features we get on Hostinger. Next, let's see the backup features of Webspace Kit. Now on Webspace Kit, we have chosen this plan as it provides hosting for multiple websites. Daily backup is provided without any extra charges on both the plans. So even if you go with a cheaper plan, you get daily backups for your website. So to check Webspace Kit's features, let's go to our admin dashboard, then click on Jet Backup. And you can see that Webspace Kit has automatically backed up our site every day. And you can easily restore your site to an older version just by selecting it from here. Now let's say your site has crashed and you want to restore it. So all you need to do is just choose the date of the backup before the crash then click here, then click restore and your site will be restored. Now if we go to our site and refresh the page, you can see that our site has been successfully restored. And as you saw, we were able to restore the site with just one click. Okay, with Webspace Kit, you get daily backups for free and easy one click restore. Okay, next let's see HostGator's backup features. On HostGator, we have chosen this plan as it provides hosting for multiple websites. Now let's see HostGator's backup features. So let's go to our admin dashboard, click on this domain name and here you can see that HostGator doesn't provide backups for free. Instead, it gives us the option to purchase this add-on called CodeGuard. Now if we click buy now, here you can select the plan and purchase it. Okay, next let's see A2 Hosting. So on A2 Hosting, we have selected this plan. So to check A2 Hosting's backup feature, let's go to our admin dashboard. And this is the website which we have hosted on A2 Hosting. Now to take a backup, you cannot get it directly from the admin dashboard. We need to log into cPanel. Then click on Jet Backup file. Then click on Full Backups. And here you can see that A2 Hosting creates a backup of our site every day. 
Now to restore our website, select the date you want here, then click restore and again click restore. And you can see that we have successfully restored the website. Okay, so on A2 hosting, you get daily backups for free and easy restore. Next, let's check GoDaddy's backup feature. Since GoDaddy doesn't have any plan which allows us to host multiple websites, we have selected the basic plan. Now to check GoDaddy's backup features, let's go to admin dashboard, select our site, then click backups. And you can see that we get daily backups for free. And you can also get a preview of your website here on the date which you selected. Now to restore the site, all you have to do is choose the backup day that you want to restore to and click restore. Okay, so now we have successfully restored our website. GoDaddy offers free daily backups and restoring your site is just as easy as WebSpace Kit. Okay, so now with GoDaddy, you get daily backups for free with just one click restore. Finally, let's see Bluehost's backup features. So on Bluehost, we have chosen this plan as it provides multiple websites. Now to check the Bluehost backup features, let's go to our admin dashboard, then go to my sites. And you can see your site which is hosted on Bluehost. Now if we click on manage site and click on backups, you can see that Bluehost provides you with this code guard add-on to back up your site. So let's click here and you will get different plans to purchase. If you purchase this plan, you can take 3 restores a month. Or if you want to take unlimited restores of your website, you can go with these plans. On Bluehost, it provides an add-on which we need to purchase and restore our site. However, WebSpace Kit, A2 Hosting and GoDaddy provide free backup with easy one-click restore. Okay, now we know which hosting provider provides the best backup features. Next, let's go to the fourth part of this video which is to compare these hosting providers to see how fast they provide customer support. You know, apart from being fast, having good uptime and offering easy backup features, a good hosting provider should also provide quick and excellent customer support. Now to check how fast they provide customer support and solve our query, we're going to ask them the same question to all these hosting providers and see which one of them solved it faster and how efficient they are. The question is, I want to increase the PHP memory limit to its maximum value for my hosting account. So first, let's check how Hostinger provides customer support. Hostinger does not provide any phone or mail support. The only way you can reach them is through chat. So we'll send our query here and start the timer to see how long it takes for them to solve it. We got the solution from Hostinger after 18 minutes along with a guide for us to refer and solve the query by ourselves. Okay, Hostinger takes more than 18 minutes to solve the query and you only have chat option to connect with them. Next, let's see how fast is WebSpace Kit in providing customer support. So in WebSpace Kit, you have to create a ticket to solve any technical queries. Once we submit the ticket, we will start the timer. And as you can see, we got the reply in 5 minutes. And they have made it hassle free by solving the queries by themselves. Okay, WebSpace Kit takes a maximum of 5 minutes. And they have chat option and call option. Next, let's check how well HostGator provides customer support. So let's end our query and start the timer. As you can see, they didn't take too long to reply. Now we will answer these details. And after 7 minutes, they resolved the query for us. It's pretty good. So HostGator took more than 7 minutes to reply and they solved the query themselves. And it has a chat and call option too. Next, let's check on A2 Hosting. On A2 Hosting, we need to enter these details here. So let's fill it out. And once you have done that, like we did before, let's send our query. As you can see, A2 Hosting has put us on queue and we need to wait for at least an hour to get a reply from them. And after 42 minutes, here you can see that instead of solving our query for us, they have provided a solution which we need to implement manually on our site. Okay. So on A2 Hosting, the customer support takes 42 minutes to solve the query and it has chat and call option. Now let's see GoDaddy. So let's send our query and start the timer. As you can see, they didn't take too long to reply. Then we'll answer these details. And after 2 minutes, you can see GoDaddy has provided a link which we can refer to and solve the query by ourselves. Okay. 
So GoDaddy takes a maximum of 5 minutes to reply to our query. And they have chat and call option too. So next, let's go to the final hosting provider, which is Bluehost. And let's see how fast they provide customer support. So go to our Bluehost site. And here we need to enter these details before we send our query. So let's enter that. And then send the query and start the timer. And you can see that Bluehost has responded after 5 minutes. Now let's fill up these details. And again, we'll send our query here. And after 7 minutes, you can see that they have responded to our query. And it says that PHP memory limit is already set to maximum. Also, they have provided you a link to check it out. Okay, Bluehost takes a maximum of 12 minutes to solve the query and has a chat and call option. Now we have compared all these hosting providers and saw how fast they provide customer support. Here you can see the list of individual timings for their fast support. Okay, now we are done testing all these hosting providers. Next, let's compare all these results and see which is the best hosting for WordPress in India. When we look at the speed, you can see that Hostinger, Webspace Kit and Hostgator are the fastest. They load our site in less than 3 seconds. Then the uptime is good for all the hosting providers. In terms of backing up and restoring your site, Webspace Kit and GoDaddy offer free daily backups and allow you to restore your site with just one click. While A2 Hosting also provides free daily backup, but the process is not straightforward and it's a bit more complicated. When it comes to customer support, Webspace Kit, Hostgator and GoDaddy are the best. They respond quickly and solve queries without any hassle. Finally, here you can see the hosting plans that we purchased with the pricing for 3 years including hosting, domain and SSL. Hostinger and GoDaddy are cheaper options while Webspace Kit, Hostgator and Bluehost are more affordable. Just remember that there might be extra charges during renewal and prices can change over time. No matter what you choose, make sure the hosting provider offers the features you need, has responsive customer support and can handle the traffic your site requires. Ok, now let's check this out. We have got the final results of this video and you can see all the hosting providers are doing great. But guess what? Webspace Kit totally stands out with lightning fast speed, awesome uptime, free daily backups with easy one-click restore, fantastic customer support and it's affordable too. Now here comes the best part. Webspace Kit also has a staging site feature where in one click, you can create a copy of a live site which is known as a staging site. Now this site will be an exact copy of a live site and this is super useful because if you want to add any new features to your site or change its look, you can first do it on your staging site and see if it's ok. And if you like the changes, you can do a one-click push to apply the same changes on your live site. It's that easy. So in this way, your site will be live and will always be looking perfect without any issues. Webspace Kit offers affordable pricing. So if you're looking for the best hosting for your website, you can choose Webspace Kit. To get it, just click the link below this video and purchase your hosting. Okay, now you know which is the best hosting for WordPress in India. Now if you're ready to create a website using Webspace Kit, you can watch this video. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.